what's going on all my gamers all my gotcha gamers i hope you guys are doing are having a good time i at this current moment am at twitchcon i, I hope you guys are having a good time anyways chat the worst gotcha crash outs volume two i believe this is actually blaze doing a serious video i want to hear what he has to say and let's watch it to get serious oh now, please make more these are so funny but do do one where it's like legitimate legitimate actually oh document every blazing like run that shit back actually get old listen here og oh i'll make something real clear for you serious in this channel don't really go hand in hand yeah i did i love blazing his videos are great but you know what i'll make an exception this time you well, want to get serious well 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 it takes two to tango so in duo fashion crash outs come in pairs mm. let's look at the biggest crash outs in gotcha volume two let's go edition. and we're gonna talk PvP about edition. a lot of things in this video that are already settled whether for better or for worse Horse. Right. So, if you think I'm beating a dead horse right now, YouTube has advised. Do not show. <laughs> yeah, I beat the brakes off that dead horse. Also, if anyone couldn't tell by my voice that I'm sick, uh, yeah, I'm sick. So, Damn. bear with Feels it. Feels bad, dog. on our two content creators who could be thought of as a few of the pioneers for yeah. the whole gotcha space. Some of the OG founding fathers of the, the big boys, bro. Progressed or regressed to now. But when you take the overly cautious hero and mix them with a blunt and brash Sundere, who will never admit that he's a Sundere, <laughs> you end up with a questionable <laughs> relationship. See, Mtash has already stated in the past that when talking to Tecton, he's treading on thin ice and moving carefully around him. Man. And I have been on eggshells for years. On the other hand... For Tec years, bro? That's no way to have a friendship, dog. You gotta be able to talk to your boys. Tone has a tendency to let his words fly before his thoughts and ends up saying things that he probably shouldn't or should otherwise just filter. Around the time Zen right. Zone Zero released, there was a little disagreement between Tectone and another content creator named Hexjuice. We'll save her for Bex a little later. But after watching the live stream, many people in the community were on Hex's side. <laughs> that Tecton fucking picture of his Hex position Juice. as a larger creator, That's a great one picture. One of which people being m who for whatever reason snapped and self-inserted himself. Yeah, I don't... Man, I, I remember looking this up. It was, was before the videos came out about it. I just heard about it, and I went and looked up the VOD. I had to look up the VOD for this. I remember I was, like, listening to it happen when I was, like, playing Escape from Tarkov. Man, I wasn't I wasn't there in the live stream or anything, and it just felt uncomfortable standing there playing Tarkov by myself in, like, in the middle of the night alone. I was like, man, I feel like I'm intruding on something. This feels really uncomfortable. <laughs> into this little argument between Jeez. Hicks and Ticklis. Now, Tecton, who thought there was a certain level of trust or at least mutual respect between the two, also snapped after hearing these things. The two hopped in a call and they let the rage go. Oh, Tecton himself. Hello. Yeah, I'm being real. I'm, I'm, I'm not cool with you, bro. At all. Damn. Me I don't want you to hold yeah, a single punch. Say whatever you want to say. I'm letting you know I'm beyond furious. She doesn't I, want I thought I was abusing her. Bad. You were. Oh, so now you, you are saying friends. I'm abusing her. Because okay, before let's... you said you didn't <sighs> say that, yeah. but now yeah, okay, you're saying okay. you are. Because you're going to post this in a video now. So yeah, I'm just like, standing chat, it's just so, <laughs> fucking a Kafka. It's so uncomfortable to listen to. Is that, does it feel like that to anyone else? It just feels like, I don't know, it feels weird. Oh, I'm not posting on a video like that. I'm gonna, I'm I have already video, messaged, but... and it's not true by yours because you're admitting to baiting me. This what isn't the a content. Dude, shut the fuck up. Wow. You, you're, you're trying to twist the whole fucking Am I? I'm quite oh literally God. saying what you know, has happened. I didn't so say, I did not say. L -tashed. You don't have I'm like reading the chat. I, 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 when this happened, I like looked anywhere else but like on the actual screen. To your friend. It's not when she thing. disagrees. So twisting my words when she disagrees. And says, oh, Man. Not only was there a mutual crashing out, but a mutual falling out. As after that, Tecton and Mtash don't seem to be on friendly terms anymore. At least not publicly. There's no knowing right. what goes on behind closed doors. <laughs> Is that as Shinya? far as crashing out goes in Love PvP, and deep dig. Mtash and Tecton are both offenders. Crash Certified out. crash out. <laughs> I guess you could say Zenless Zone Zero truly was a fighting game after all. Oh it my god. <laughs> Woo! 
Man, you want to talk about a game that is not fighting game related? Shout out to Fatima uh, Sun Zero. No, I said we'd speak on Hex Juice later. Bex so Hoose. I think now's a fitting time while it's. <gasps> is that Giga? I love Giga. That's that's not related. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Fresh. Hex Juice is brash, blunt, maybe a bit short tempered, and very hot headed. But all things considered. And she's loud. Chat. I don't like loud people. No, I love Hex Juice. I love it. Now let it be known. <laughs> Hex Juice is one of my favorite people in the gotcha space. But I'm going to put bias aside for this mm. entry by letting you know off rip that hex juice despite being one of the newer up and coming creators around here is right. still one of the biggest repeat offenders of crash <laughs> now keeping in the pvp theme let's narrow down a little bit to one of hex oh juice. hex's old model wow i remember when i first found her she still had this model and she still had this background where the, where the chat went across this way I still remember this. Dramas. And one now, I don't want to be like, oh, I've been watching Hex Juice for years. No, no, no. I think I found her pa probably the week or two before she deb debuted her new model. Like around the time that the tech something happened, which uh, I want to say was two weeks, three weeks, something like that. Many of you likely found her through Tao or Yelon Slave Tao is somebody maybe Man. a bit deranged. I'd be a hypocrite to press him on it though, because when it comes to trolling, you have no idea how far or long I'll commit. This one was nothing. such a wild thing because if Tao had never done this, they no one would have ever, or he would he would have still been he still probably could have been uploading today and getting like decent video views or something like that. But it's just like after that, I don't I don't understand what the point was. It just destroyed his career and the homie b move like it just destroyed both the reputations i don't to this day understand what was the benefit they were looking for i think tao someone who was somewhat funny and had potential but his execution is just atrocious see he made a creative yeah. smash tier list yeah. which is kind is of weird i'm not gonna lie in said video, he said the following about Hex Juice. Okay, just looks like your standard, normal, completely original Genshin YouTube Tao channel. Chi. That's definitely not <coughs> using the faces and names of larger content creators to boost her own viewership because she knows she can't get wow. viewers for herself. <coughs> now, Hex didn't take lightly to that at all. Honestly, no. I understand why, because compared to the rest of the video, this specific portion felt a little bit malicious. It would obviously yeah, it be felt fair a little if personal. to be upset after having her content spat on and being reduced to glazing, while she herself was just reduced to, well, yeah. female. Hex responded, then Tao made a couple disingenuous apologies, then he got called out by VXV Fiction and Tecton Live. Man, it he probably would have, I don't know, the question that I still have is, would he have eventually crashed out like this in a way that would have ruined his career beforehand or after if he even if he never did it he never came at hex juice i wonder if he would have still had an outcome like this because it's not like hex juice something about her made him do this so it's just it's kind of weird in his defense even if you have a strong opinion on something being put on the spot especially in hostile territory will make some people choke and fumble their words mm. but in the case of Tao, he just wouldn't apologize even if you don't feel wrong about what you said you should feel bad about upsetting yeah. somebody else right well no because after a countless cycle of crashing out from hex juice during this time as uh -huh. well as Tao during the time the drama more or less ended with him simply being excommunicated excommunicado and i don't know or really care why but as far as pvp goes this was the first pvp crash out that initially gave hex juice a big break even though i was too lazy to go find the proper clips <laughs> because they're borderline gone oh hex wow juice and tell. certified so crash out <laughs> so next actually has a more appealing and satisfying conclusion at least to some degree Soul of the OG was a former soul? miner and was strictly against Oh him. right, the soul the former miner guy. Making content on yeah, I remember him anywhere from guides to discussions to other videos he just liked to make. Yeah. His content was pretty informative and he clearly put a lot of thought into it rather than just brainless talk. Didn't he like constantly tweet about tech tone? I think that's what he did, right? That's the thing is, he's known for now. Dramas, Tecton did something or at least that's what I know. Okay, I don't want to say that's what he's known for. I want to say that's what I know him for. It's me specifically. In this case, Tecton brought onto his stream a smaller content creator who also happened to be a former miner named Flip. Former miner is so funny. Why Flip is a YouTuber and not a streamer. 
He'd lose his words and thoughts as Tecton pressed him, and Sol didn't really like that. So Sol, seeing himself wow. as a better speaker than Flip, called out Tecton and ended up going on stream himself. It wasn't bad at first, but it just got worse and worse as the minutes passed. Tecton, I guess I can follow your logic. They're not going to do what they don't want to do. Do you like uh -huh. talking about meta? Do you want to talk about meta? I thought we weren't talking about meta. Oh my fucking god. I thought we were talking we're about talking, the We're talking about meta players versus casual players the really? meta players have you guys ever met a girl before <laughs> literally right now I'm what so are you sorry. talking about are you okay no i'm having to listen to this bull man of course i'm not okay what what do you mean <laughs> no i get this worked up over talking with idiots man this is wow name calling? Calling? You said whoa no name dude calling. relax you like man play meta in Genshin Impact? when did i even remotely imply that well, i'm just asking <laughs> you know i mean you do have to it's know. so much funnier when tech tone is just like calm as can be and the other guy's just freaking out it's stupid you don't like whoa dude you whoa like dude like relax don't man meta players tell whoa. Really you, want die, you want to die on the hill that you said you don't respect oh meta God, players are you, like are you threatening me i'll have you know i'm a former minor man you can't <laughs> like that. when did i threaten you can you, you said quit you no, said you said die quit spout, quit spouting oh my god it eventually became nothing more than soul slinging insults one way and tectone throwing taunts back you get a cry tectone content farming somebody who was extremely angry and passionate eventually soul rage quit and just abruptly left the stream but the damage <laughs> to his image had already been done by that's him, funny bro how much bigger than him tectone was and yet somehow this entry isn't about soul versus tectone because as you see soul has a brother named solo who decided to hop into the drama and get a little oh is that who solo is soul was angered by that because he had told solo not to jump into a situation and further into man i've seen some of i've seen some of solo's videos recently yeah already seeing himself as the underdog Tecton liked Solo and did not like Soul. Intentional or not, Tecton brought Solo onto a live stream that set mm -hmm. Soul off, as he wasn't only being seen as the antagonist, but now his own family was being turned against him. Skip a few filler arcs and Solo decided to start streaming. When not long into his streaming career, Soul did this. You know what? Actually, I changed yeah. my mind about showing that. Clip. Don't don't Online show it. beefing and drama don't really work with yeah, me. Yeah, so don't I'm don't don't don't, don't show it. This. I have no issue with Soul personally, so I'm not gonna villainize him like that. If you want. Or I made two videos on it in the past. Go check out the channel. If you want the clip, go get it yourself. You feel me? Without showing the clip, it displays Soul entering Solo's room midstream, yelling at him, slamming his door, and in turn knocking some of his things over and making him cry. Skip a few more arcs. Now we've got Soul crying as well. By now, I see it as no more than two brothers butting heads and them having it escalated. By yeah, you gotta sometimes chat. Time. Sometimes you gotta fight your brother, like fist fight him. It happens, dude. It's uh, the part of being brothers is someone who has a uh, few brothers myself. They're better now. Both still doing their thing. But while the drama was in its prime, soul of the OG certified crash dump. Crash Good down. lord, this video's getting long. I had a few more entries, but now I'm only like ten minutes. Long. How long Among is it? all the dramas and crash outs in the gacha space, Nine there's minutes? one that stands that top the rest. There is one that involved more creators than any other, and there is one that single-handedly altered the trajectory. Twenty of plus creators. The most notorious yet glorious. Dirty, yet sturdy. As a wise Skirt. man named Mujin once said, bloody is <laughs> What is his, what is his background, bro? As man named <laughs> I like that background, dude. I like Mujin's model. His model's really cool. Mujin once said, bloody He's is really good. Wow, that MC tracking is nice. Ever feasted their eyes on. Atsu and the Genshin Impact in Justice League versus Tectone and the Gacha Who's on here? Uh, Let's see, let me see this. Atsu and the Genshin Impact. I think it's Otsu. Is that Dish? I only know Dish. No. I know who that is. Who is that? I know who that girl is. I think it's someone who uses AI, right? Right. Twitter. The homie Beam. Steam Bun, I think. And then Enviosity. Is that right? Impact in Justice League versus Tectone and the. And this is Box. I think this is Box, right? Box 2. Brax, Gotcha, Smack, Tectone, M Tash. Was M Tash a caster? The caster? That's kind of cool. Uh, and then Mr. Pokey. Gotcha Legion of Doom. This was the Gotcha Civil War with the Allies versus the Axis. Now it's hard to focus on a singular crash out among right. the lot because during this time period there were many. In fact, some of the previously mentioned crash outs in this video were during the era of the Great Gotcha War. The From Great Gotcha War. To Tectone to especially Asian guys too. This truly was a oh, bloody mess. The ultimate loser as a result though had to be 
Otzu, who's crash out definitely with doom. He lost respect, credibility, his fan base, his own personal life, all in the time Oof. span of a few months. Otsu lost it. All. I man, I was not around during this. I actually came after this. I think I would consider myself as part of the new wave after this event, if that makes sense. I came after this all was settled and done, I think. If not, I was starting just after Atsu's latest, his like third and final, P, uh, what is it called? Whole thing, uh, document thing. After all that, I think that's when I came around. So I would say I'm like a post-apocalyptic gotcha streamer. Man, I don't know how it would be to be around this. I don't think I could have handled it. I'm going to be complete. Not handled it, but like... I definitely would have pissed people off because I don't like to sugar a uh, chat. Hey, chat, I ain't gonna sugarcoat it. Win Godfist, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I don't like to sugarcoat shit, and I feel like a lot of these gotcha creators would have definitely like they're like when I, what I hear from them is that they like they were just you know they had hid shit from each other and they sugarcoated things and they just like lied to their audience. I don't know. It was kind of wild, but man. I only watch this from like afar. It's like watching an old tape of World War II today, Chad. It's like, damn, that's wild. He made tweet after tweet, document after document, video after video. Nothing worked in his favor as his mask mm. had already been cracked and darkness brought to the light. He was completely and utterly at the mercy of his ops, except that his crashing up went even further as instead of turning to what allies he had left, he threw them under the bus and oh. created <laughs> A man who crashed out due to being isolated. Sometimes you gotta go scorched earth, I guess. To further isolate himself. In the great gotcha world war, there were winners and losers alike on both sides, but nobody took a bigger hit than Asian Guy's stream, one of Gotcha's biggest crashes. All right, no more. I hate being serious. Sarcasm. Chat. Wait, but Matt, you think there's going to be an... I think nowadays the Gotcha community is in a pretty good spot, mostly just because a lot of the people left. It feels like, it feels like a lot of those people on the losing end left. If I... I think so. I can't think of anyone else who still streams or maybe it's just because i mostly like to i don't want to say uh, i guess the word associate is the right word associate myself on this side of the gotcha space which is tectone the 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 space that tectone resides over you know what i'm saying so it's like you know techie po techie pokey gotcha smack uh hex juice and all that i, I i'm on this side of the space this is just you know i, I watch all these people on this side that I don't know. I guess I'm on this side. If you were to put me in a direction of like the gotcha space, I guess this side, the, the one people, the one person on this side who still likes Genshin. It's in my blood, blood. blood. Also some of gotcha's most notorious crash. Outs. What it is. Cause spin back for a part three anytime soon in the future. I'm going to catch y'all boys. <laughs> in the next one. Man, that was a, that was an insane video, dude. All this crash out and stuff. It's some wild stuff, chat, but, you know, a lot of this stuff can be resolved if you just, you know, talk to your people, bro. Don't don't let anyone, you know, don't, don't let shit slide. Or do, not don't let shit slide, but, you know, you got to work it out with people around you. Anyways, chat, that's just what I think. I think crash outs can definitely be avoided if you just, like, talk to your friends. Anyways, comment, like, subscribe, chat, and I will catch you gamers in the next one. Bye. <laughs>